this is the new Aaron 4D that uh, Merck is uh, cr- creating. Um, AA Ron. AA Ron 4D. What? AA Ron 4D. A-A-Ron. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, by the way, it needs um, a badass logo. There's no logo yet. It needs a badass logo. Yeah. 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 But uh, so the things that, like, I, uh, the initial reaction to it was like, okay, cool. This is really good for, like, you know, uh, just like coming up with ideas and stuff like that. But. The additions that he's, he has since added mm-hmm. with, like, the texture generation and all of that, I yeah. or, like, even this right here with the creating HDRIs, yeah. it's like, yeah, so you've I got don't know, I worry for some of these colors, normals, you know, displacement. Texture companies and stuff like that, like, yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty, it's a lot more involved than I thought it was initially going to be, you mm-hmm. know? And it's really cool to see what Merck is creating. That dude's going to make a lot of money off of this, I got to say. Yeah, colors, normals, displacement um, that mm-hmm. can be subsequently used with other renders. Um, also, the panoramic and background images that you can do. Uh, is This is the first thing that I asked as well. I was like, can, you know, can you get a random HDRI? Can you get a random mm-hmm. texture? Could you create some sort of normal map or or something like that uh the hdri stuff i mean that's freaking awesome yeah even if it isn't perfect like that is that's great that's so uh handy to have and then um also it says another advantage of the ai 3d software combination is you can not only render the proper text on something but manually define Mm -hmm. the font and everything and I'm like, wow. That's super cool. I don't know how that I don't, works. I don't know how he's doing that. You know? Yeah, look at that. He's just like, like wow. The thing is, and, and everything that we've seen, like, okay, the textures, yes. The HDRIs, yes. I'm on board for both of those. I think that's going to be fantastic. But everything, like the actual generating, like an image, I'm not too sure about that. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I because mean... It's, it's not, not going to stay the same. It's not animation. It's just a still, yeah. you know. It'll be cool for, like, you know, kind of creating stuff. But I don't know. Also, you, you, you don't get that. You, well, you do get the variation every time you generate something. You mm-hmm. you know, you say, like, oh, I can, you know, have this with clouds or something. And it changes Changes everything. 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 Yeah. 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 You need control like, net and a bunch of, you know. Yeah. 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 I think I, I think. But, all it, all it is is just for i guess for people that want to have a little bit more control on generating images for something like a feed on a instagram or or something like that i do, mm-hmm. like i can't see the kind of use case other than you know the textures and the hdris but yeah. like that's more useful um for like us on on this side of things but i think um i think the generation it's maybe like idea generation or or something like that. Like mm-hmm. you could you could maybe use it for, but like like we were saying before, it is half the fun if if you like that you, you like that sort of thing, you know, like texturing <laughs> yeah. and lighting and and things like that. It's just I'm just gonna install this into every computer at the death match. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people come up with. <laughs> I think it's really uh, gonna be great when you're doing uh, texturing. I I think I think mm-hmm. that's where AI is really gonna start with this, right? Like it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like say you're working on a really big scene and you don't need the best textures for everything. Maybe you're using yeah. GSG for those nice close-ups and you know yep. pieces of I don't know, furniture or something in a scene. But then like imagine you're doing like a gigantic scene and there's a something brick like in the background. You don't need some 8K texture all over that, you know. So I don't know. I I feel like that's going to be the first thing that's useful anyway. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, that is available. It's available for pre-order. Actually, it says alpha available March third, or I'm sorry, March twenty third. Twenty third, yeah. Which is it may be out already. It's, it's already yeah, it's already out on his Patreon. On his Patreon, it's already out. Yeah. Uh, it broke. It broke um, Google Downloads or something, and he's already had uh, oh, people no. pirating it as well. <laughs> really? Of course. Yeah. That's not surprising about the pirating, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin says, I hope it seventy two a- ratings. Five yeah. stars, ninety nine percent five stars. Wow. Justin says, mm. uh, "Hope it imp- implements a beefy upscaler." 
Maybe there is an upscale. Ooh. Right? Yeah. I, th I think you can render up to 16K, I think. Oh, that's Jeez. not bad. Well, the, at least the, the HDRIs you can 16K, I think. Yeah, you need yeah. that. Dave, I really think MoGraph.com needs to buy this. <laughs> what? <laughs> buy the plugin? Yeah, buy the plugin. Oh, to, it to will play help with? us create yeah, 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 for research. thumbnails. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just go, um, go on yeah. his Patreon and then you can download the alpha. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to. MoGraph is going to own it. We're going to have a <laughs> MoGraph copy so we can use it. That'll be yeah. fun. Um, I think it's. I feel like Merck needs to go like work with Otoy or something at this point. It certainly yeah. seems like with what they're doing, Merck would be like a perfect fit for that, right? Mm -hmm. I think on his Twitter he says like not open for job oh, know, really? for jobs or something like that. He keeps getting offered, obviously. I mean, yeah. it, the thing is, why would you? You know, I mean, it, this thing. I I think I think a fair amount of people are going to purchase this, and he's gonna he's gonna make a good lot of, a good amount of money off of it. You know, oh, yeah, and sure. I don't yeah, think but... I don't think I don't know where he's based, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the dollar goes a bit further where he's at. I don't remember. Yeah. You know. I, I did talk to Merck once, and because I was asking, did he sound like huh, this? The AI, <laughs> yeah. No, I I think um, I believe what he told me was was that um, his English is not as great as he'd like it to be, so he didn't want to do an interview. So, and I can't remember mm -hmm. what what country um, he was in, but I feel like you know the advantage of of going to work for someone like that is you would get quite a team and a budget to do the things that you want to do. You know that's mm -hmm. that's something that might interest me if I were working on something like this. You know, as long as I got a cut or something, I'd be like, yeah, let's let's yeah. go, let's do this, get a whole team on this. That would be fun. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Cameron said, for video games, NVIDIA CEO said AI will be generating every pixel live in-game in the next five to ten years. Jeez. <sighs> and Justin said, Merck has made some big money from his Patreon. Not mm -hmm. allowed to disclose I believe so that. Much, but, oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. 